Good evening my dames and lords and welcome to the second episode of trying to play Terraria Expert Mode for the first time. Since last recording, a little bit's happened because I've been on and off the server trying to get recording to work. Merchant arrived and then Demolitionist arrived just a second ago. Alright, I'm going to try and get some more stone and then build the roof for this ugly shell of a house. I just glitched through a block. What? Hang on a moment. Where are my torches at? There they are. Blind. Right. What? How is that happening? I am so confused. There we go, that looks marginally better. Okay, I think I'm gonna go and do some mining for a little bit, try and get maybe some armor. I don't know, I don't know to be honest, uh, but loaf crystals would be super nice. Uh, I forgot to get any rope from the uh, old merchant. Okay, well, that isn't. Um, very good, he kept jumping whenever I was jumping. Oh shit, and that's a gnome. Yeah, I'm actually just dead, aren't I? Jesus. Oh, duped. Actually duped. No, there's no way, right? Can I? No? Okay, yeah, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. I'd say lesson learned, but I don't think I've learned any lesson, to be honest. I'll just try it again. No, they stole my money. Where'd a bird at? Burb. What do I call you? Flinch or something, yeah, flinch. Flinch the burb. What? No, stop jumping whenever I jump. What is this, basketball? Give me my coin back. 52 damage. Jesus Christ. Oof, that was a little bit close. I got my coin though. Alrighty. Not again. <laughs> my god. He's got my gold too! No! Alright, that should do for a rope. Now let's actually go and do a bit of mining. Wait, why am I digging a elevator? There's literally a cave entrance right there that I can see. The travelling merchant has arrived. But I'm digging, not now! Wait, I can be clever about this. I can mine the water and then go down with it. Yeah, boy! Whoopee cushion! Huh, okay. Fantastic. Wait, why did I buy rope? <laughs> I didn't realise I already had nearly a thousand of it. <laughs> and I went back to get some too. <laughs> what a waste of time. Wait, I should probably take a mining potion, that might make sense. Oh, that is so much faster. Wait, what kind of pickaxe do I have? Oh, silver. It's been literal months since I recorded the first episode of this. Well, I can't see anymore. Oh, no I can, because my coins illuminated the area. Huh, well... <laughs> Guess I fell into a cavern? Oh, it's raining. What is up, Shipton? The travelling merchant, that's what you're called. So forgettable. Katana? Ah, uh, I'm gonna have to go and get my coins. Be right back, good sir. I just have to collect it from my, um. bank, sure. No! No, I'm actually gonna get murked by a gnome. Oh my god, I'm actually gonna die to a gnome. <laughs> oh man, I'm not having a good day. <laughs> Last episode I was taking it so seriously and trying not to die and here I am just running around. <laughs> not even got my uh, bloody flinch out. I probably should have used a recall potion when I fell into, fell into that big old lake. Ah, oh, now I'm just falling am I? Jesus. Can I save this? No, no I cannot save this. 
Sometimes I have my moments of genius, I promise. Stay right there, Mr. Travelling Merchant. Almost got him. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, actually made it this time. First try, baby, let's go. Give me my coins back. Oh my god. Didn't even get to buy the katana. This is so sad. Uh oh, cave that. Right, in case I die here, let's be smart. Do a bit of rope so I can actually hook onto it on the way down if I have to. Oh, another cave bat. So there's another cave coming up. Only a wee one again. What? what? Okay. If this is how I face up against normal enemies, God knows what's going to happen against the bosses. I actually saved that by landing on the rope with the piranha would have got me. Is that a frog statue? Okay. Oh, oh that's a mother slime. Oh, okay. Just <laughs> knocked back locked into a hole. Yo, let's go. Found a life crystal. This is great news. Oh, just throw it, Jesus. What was that? Oh, silt. <laughs> Alright, sure. Sure game, that's the thing. Oh no. To be honest, I kind of saw that coming. Alright, I better go and get my coins and then crack on with something else, otherwise this video is just going to be a me dying compilation. Boy, I actually saved that. Not that it would have mattered because there was rope beneath me, but that felt kind of cool. Okay, what is the plan then? First and foremost, I should probably check out what I got. Frog statue. Hmm. Mm mm mm. Delicious. Right, three platinum. Very nice. Very, very nice. 23 silver. Not even enough for a chest plate. Decent. Lead. And 14 tin. Right, I should probably use this lead to get organised with chests and the like. So this chest in here could be my sort of gems and ores chest. Right, and then in this one can be potions and the like. And in this one we can have sort of blocks and other building stuff, I guess. And then in this one, enemy drops and loot or something like that. Alright, I think I'll make a tree house. That sounds kind of nice. There's a tree here, this first one of the four. Wait, is it four? Yeah, it is four this side. I still can't get over that, it's actually just insane. Seven big trees. Crazy. But it's thick enough all the way up to the bushy part. <laughs> the bush! <laughs> oh no. <clears throat> it's wide enough up to the leaf the leaf, the leaves, for me to have a rope up the middle. Oh, there are some fireflies about. Maybe I should purchase a uh, purchase? I need to purchase, I can just craft one. A fishing rod. A fishing rod? Why would I need a fishing rod? Yeah, I purchase was right the first time. Maybe I should purchase a bug net. There we go. So I can catch some. Mine's all over the place. <laughs> You're trapped. <laughs> now there are three in there. You can only see two though. Something that might be worth looking into is making a sawmill so I can make a loom so I can make a bed. Because I think now since 1.4 if you sleep in a bed it will make time go faster. And that might be good for when I'm sort of waiting for it to be daytime so I can go and continue what I was doing. Uh, I've only got 5 cobwebs, that'll be a problem. Right, now I've got 51, that might be worth something, but I'll have a little look around see if I can find some more. Why did I take damage from that? I landed in water. What is this, not Minecraft? Oh no, not this. No, I can survive, I can survive. 
I can survive, yeah. Let's see, does it work how I thought it worked? It does. It does, it does, it does. But it's daytime, so I don't want to do that now. Cool. So the reason I stopped building the treehouse earlier is because I realised I don't have a magic leaf wand or whatever it's called that turns back that you can use to turn wood into leaf stuff. Um, so I can't build it basically. So I might do a little bit of a little, what is that? It's just a, a gnome, but not an evil one. Can I bug net it? No. Nope. Garden gnome? Oh, okay. Well, I just discovered something rather interesting here. There is a waterfall flowing from seemingly nowhere. And that, as far as I'm aware, can mean only one thing. Aha! That was indeed correct. <laughs> I love how this is how rope works. <laughs> Makes total sense. Alright, fairly low down Sky Island. That's quite quite nice actually. Here we go, another place to put NPC housing. Lovely. Now watch me get some, something completely useless in this. Eh, not bad actually. Arcane. Arcane shiny red balloon. <laughs> Arcane is a reforger telling me something, isn't it? Be mage, be mage. But yeah, happy with that. Oh my god, that makes such a difference. I had no idea it made that much of a difference. I knew you jumped higher, but damn. That's actually mega helpful. I'm dead happy with that. Ah, well, um, yeah, I'm not too fond of the idea of pressing on into this biome here. So, might be nice to see what actually is here. Yeah, not a whole lot. I'm a dip. See ya. I'm gonna be real, this ain't looking too good. I'm a Yeah, really cool. And we have Abraham, this guy, a travelling merchant. Definitely did not forget his name again. Yeah, bit boring. Alright, well, I'll go the other way now. I was going to say this desert looks a little bit more hospitable. That was evidently not the case. Oh. Jungle. Okay. Well, this will be funny. Alright, was it daytime again now, having slept away the night? I fancy building something. And since I can't do the treehouse, how I want to do it without the uh, the one stuff that I need, I will might as well do something else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a sickle, a little handheld scythe, gather up some hay, because I fancy using that, and it's easy to get. What is that? Not as good as this. I'll give it a try and see. Oh, turns out there's a room in here that I'd not checked. And there they are. The things I wanted. Well, <laughs> isn't that awfully convenient? Oh, huh, okay, sure. Alright, I finished what I was building for now, which I'll show you in a second. But while I make while I wait for NPCs to spawn. I'm going to do a little bit of fishing since I've got some worms. And I fancy doing a time lapse, so uh, why not do a time lapse now? <laughs> Epic fishing time lapse. Oh, and it's raining too. I don't know if that actually helps into area or what, but we'll see. Oh, it seems to. That was really quick.
Alright, well I've run out of bait now. So I'm going to pick up these fallen stars and then I'm going to get out of here and see what we've got. Alrighty, so... Can I momentary open while I sleep? We'll see. I can. So what do we get? Got 12 bombfish, 109 bass, <laughs> 10 wooden grates, a zephyr fish, and 2 iron grates. It's pretty good I reckon. I'll uh, open those in a second. I can equip that though. Cool little fish. I think it's more or less daytime now. Um, I'll bang open these little gr these uh, wooden crates then. Hmm, nothing particularly special. Got some bait, which is nice. I could have stayed there longer if I remembered that you can get bait from these. Yeah. Um, apprentice bait and journeyman bait. All right, and iron crates. Oh, wrong one. Heart reach potions, mana potions, and master bait. Alright. So this is what I built. Up at the top of the tree here. Two rooms. I sort of tried to loosely follow where the branches were, and I've put branches in the background. Went for uh, the jungle torches since I had them in my inventory, and I thought they kind of looked cool. Nice, nice aesthetic. I can put the uh, dryad here once I get that NPC, and that that will be quite fitting, I think. But anyway, that's all I'm going to do for this episode. I'm happy to have done something sort of productive in the way of building houses, and there is still uh, another house. Where is it? There we go. There's another NPC housing available down here, so that can be filled at some point when there's one available. All right. So thank you very much for watching, and have a good. Good evening my dames and lords, and welcome to episode 2. <sighs> Fucking try it again, dingers. But it's thick enough all the way up to the bushy part. Lead? More like ladies nuts, am I right? Nah, shut up.